Today we're at Crab Creek, one of the longest creeks in Washington. But January is pretty much the only time you can float it in the canoe, and boy, we had a hard time. There was low water, lots of rocks, and we did spend a lot of time pulling the canoes by hand. But we did get to go down the entire reach from Tokyo Road Bridge all the way down here to the Rocky Ford Bridge, which represents the majority of BLM's holdings on Crab Creek. And we were able to see that the, the creek had uh, a fair amount of riparian vegetation. Uh, the banks were uh, pretty solid and it was a real uh, healthy system that we came down. Uh, we thought it was at proper functioning condition and um, opportunities look like uh, maybe trying to enhance some of the woody vegetation uh, with plantings. And those would uh, help the songbirds and the mule deer in this area. Jason called me last year and said, uh, gee, we want to do some looking out here and you want to know I do a bunch of canoeing. I said, and last week I called him up and said, this, we have to do it. But uh, it was still a great time. Uh, weather would cooperated. Uh, once the fog cleared, it was just gorgeous. The float did take a little bit longer than I anticipated, but the flows weren't as much as I was hoping. But uh, Mother Nature has her ways, <laughs> and I can't do much about that. But we had to, we muddled through. Nobody, could, nobody drowned. Nobody got wet. Uh, uh, unless it was on purpose. <laughs>